Mr. Kennedy here, your favorite math teacher. I'd love to teach you a lesson on parallel lines and polygons. You do the math. Show you how geometry and algebra too. Take out your notebook, there's a lot to do. It's a good idea to pause this frame and just look at what corresponding angles look like. And the colors that match here are alternate interior. Do you see the Z? These are called alternate exterior. Pause and make sure you understand. Here's the shortcut. They're either equal or supplementary. That's it! I'm Corey Sponding for ASA News. Special news report, this just in. A man who devoted his life to geometric proofs has died this morning. His gravestone will read R.I.P. C.P.C.T.C. In addition, 2 plus 3 is 5. I have something in my ear. Is the government spying on you through your calculator? Find out tonight on an ASA special report. I'm Corey Sponding. Back to you, Mr. Kennedy. Let's pause and try this problem on your own first. I hope you found the Z, because these angles are congruent. So you set them equal to each other and solve. I hope you got X equals 25. So when you plug it back in for angle 1, you get 135 degrees. Here's example 2. Pause again so you can try it on your own. Did you notice that one's obtuse and one's acute? That means they can't be equal. So you've got to add them up and set it equal to 180. They're supplementary. If you do that, you get x equals 30. So when you plug back in, angle 1 is 72 degrees. All right, now we're gonna do one of my favorite problems of all time, I love these. I call them picnic table problems because they kind of look like a picnic table. What do you bring into the picnic? I'd love some pie. <laughs> anyway, this only works if L is parallel to M, okay? So these lines have to be parallel. L and M are parallel. We've got two transversals here, T1 and T2. And they gave me two angles to start out. 70 and 135. So I can fill in everything else, okay? Watch how I do it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, this is easy. This 135 is vertical to this angle. Easy. Next, uh, these two make a straight line right here, right? Straight line is supplementary, adds up to 180. So 180 minus 135, right, 45. Look, more vertical angles. This must be 45, okay? What can I do now? Ooh, I see a Z. Here's the Z. All right, do you see it? Do you see it? <laughs> so the armpits of the Z are the same. So this 45 is equal to what's up here. This must be 45. Okay, oh, here's a backwards Z. I Z another. So if this is 70, this must be 70. Okay, oh, vertical, 70. This must be 110 because together these add up to 180. They're supplementary. They're on a straight line, a linear pair. And 110 must go down here, because they're vertical angles. What am I missing? The summit of this triangle, the vertex, right? Well, all angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So let's find out how many degrees I'm missing. So 70 plus 45 is 115. Subtract that from 180, and you're missing 65 degrees. And we're done. We filled in every angle. Could it be any easier or more fun?
I'm Corey Sponding with ASA News. Let's go to Matt Dematix with the weather. Matt? Thanks, Corey. It's going to be 90 degrees today. Wait, that can't be right. Oh, no, wait. 90 degrees is always right. <laughs> <laughs> Love that sense of humor, Matt. Yeah, thank you for being so complimentary to me. Back to you, Mr. Kennedy. Now let's talk about polygons. Polygons are just shapes that have straight edges. Poly means many. It means it has, you know, three or more sides. Okay? So let's talk about the simplest one. A three-sided polygon. Right, it's called a triangle. How many degrees in a triangle? That's right, 180 degrees. That's the sum of all three angles. You add them up, you get 180 every single time, no matter what kind of triangle it is. Isn't that exciting? Okay, so how do we figure out how many degrees all the angles in a different polygon add up to? We use triangles. Let me show you. Here I drew uh, uh, two polygons. So let's find out what they are, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one has eight sides. That's called an octagon. This one's got one, two, three, four, five. Pentagon. Let's write that down. N equals eight. That's the number of sides. N equals five. Octagon, pentagon. So, to figure out how many uh, total degrees the angles add up to, the sum of the angles, here's what you do. Pick your favorite corner. I'm going to pick, uh, I love this corner right here. Okay? I'll put a little smiley face down there to show it's my favorite. Now, draw straight lines to make... And make triangles. Watch. If I connect here, there's a triangle. If I connect to here, there's another triangle. If I connect there, there's another triangle, and I got the heebly jeebly's. Connect there, there's another one. And there's one more. So now everything here is a triangle. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six triangles. Six triangles is six times 180, right? That's 1,000. And 80. That's how many degrees are in an octagon. What about a pentagon? I'll pick this top corner everyone loves. Connect those two. There's a triangle. Connect those two. There's a triangle. Oh, and that one's a triangle. So I'm done. I have three triangles. Three times 180 is 540. That's the sum of the angles of a uh, pentagon. <laughs> Here's the formula. Let's pause and write it down. I had a great time teaching you all about parallel lines and polygons. So until next time, I'm Mr. Kennedy, and may the math be with you.